What's up, Pisces? What's popping? Pisces, I'm going to give you a reading for this afternoon. And that's why I'm over here getting all that going on. Pisces, thank you for all those who uh, share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who get private readings and donate to my channel. Thank you for all those who go onto the web and purchase um, uh, everything that I'm selling. You need to go in there and check shit out. All right, Pisces, let me um, get down with the get down here and um, give you a spin. Our readings been coming out a lot. Very powerful readings. I mean, very powerful. All right? A peaceful solution, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a peaceful solution, right? You don't want no problems, right? So you're trying to get this figure out how, what, and whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. But you don't want no problems with nobody. So you're trying to find a peaceful solution to this whole situation or whatever it is. But let me get started with this reading, okay? A peaceful solution. What is the peaceful solution? All right, Pisces. All right. The first card you got is the Eight of Pentacles. Is someone here working alone? Trying to, uh, something with a business, okay? Um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, you got the five, the five of cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Someone seems like they're working alone, but someone also is looking at like, um, I feel like somebody is looking at you, and it's like they looking at you, they working alone, um, or this person can be having their own business or whatever it is. But I feel they're looking at you from afar. And what I do see is someone here is crying or making things more difficult than what it's supposed to be. So I feel like um, with the um, Eight of Pentacles, I feel like, and it's something, a peaceful solution that you're trying to gain here, Pisces. I feel like what I do see with this Eight of Pentacles, that I feel like there's somebody here that is... Um, um, working, um, deter it's like they work, they, they determine to persevere and becoming a person that they long to be. It's like you mastering a skill. I feel like somebody here is mastering a skill and somebody wants to be in, it's like somebody staring at a house from a distance, but it's like they mastering the skill, right? It's like they, um... Um, maybe it's something that you are, um, you're patient and you determined to work this out with somebody. I feel like you are, you, you got a lot of patience or somebody got a lot of patience for you because I feel like this person is looking at you from a distance, but they want to be in the same place you are at. In other words, someone it's mastering anything and everything they're doing, okay? The Eight of Pentacles is someone mastering what they're doing. Somebody wants to do something, right? But they're looking at this castle, this door, and it's like they they trying to figure out. They're looking, instead of getting in the car and driving over whatever, whatever it is, I feel like it's somebody looking at you from a distance, Okay? Um, or I feel like it's a person here that either you or them, um, but somebody here is looking at you and they're trying to work something out here that will be, in other words, somebody is trying to make things work out with a, a peaceful solution. And it's like they, it's like, like you want to be somewhere, but you can't be right now. Okay. If that makes any sense, like you're trying to. Find a way to work this out with somebody, right? Um, but at the same time, you're taking a long road to get there because you're looking at where you want to be, but you're not just yet there, okay? Then you got, um, and that's um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, the Five of Cups, all right? You're looking at everything that you've been through or what you or whatever it is. Or as a person that's working hard because this person is looking at everything, right? And 
and like crying over spilled milk, like like making it harder than what it is. But this Eight of Wands is a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, and this person wants to come back in, but to work something out with you. But Pisces, I don't look like, it looks to me like you ain't thinking about this damn person, okay? Whoever this person is, you ain't thinking about them. Then you got the Five of Swords, which means that who, it's like you, you letting go of a person, right? Or a situation, right? But at the end, I feel like all of this is about you or this person wants to work something out with you, but, and they see that you work hard. It's like you determined to not let someone come back in. But whatever it is, it's like you're trying to find your way um, to have a peaceful solution, but it seems like this is just getting harder and harder, okay? But I feel like this not a wants, this fire sign wants to come in, but they don't know how to come in because it's like you're not trying to let somebody back in to your life, right? The five of swords is like you literally um, cutting it off, but at the end, who wins? Okay, who wins? Like, you see, you're standing there with the swords, but then you see two people walking away because it's like you took their swords. It's like you took their swords and they got nothing left, right? But then at the end, how does it make you feel, right? But I feel like with all of this is going on, I just feel like this, this one, every Sagittarius or Leo, um, I feel like being around a Sagittarius or Leo, every Sagittarius or Leo, this person is trying to work hard, hard, honey, trying to, trying to work hard because they know that leaving you was the biggest mistake they ever done. This person wants to come back into your life, but I feel like you cut them off. You know what I mean? It ain't no coming back. Um, I also feel like, look at this, the Eight of Cups, you walk away. And you don't give a damn what you left behind. You're saying, I'm not going to accept this person back in my life, and they're not coming back in my life, no matter what they try to do. I don't want them back in my life. Okay? But that person is still staying at your house, finding out how they can come back. All right? As you walk away from this person, then you come into the Knight of Cups. Somebody here is, you walking away from somebody, um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, and someone here, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, is offering you um, this cup. Uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and it's a big offer. This person is smart. This person has ambition. This person goes for what he wants. He knows what he wants, but for some reason, it's somebody else here that is determined to be there no matter what, and it's like you don't even want anything to do with this person, but this person don't seem like they can just, it's not easy getting away from somebody that you don't want to even be with. Um, but it shows that you, shit, this, you working your shit, and this person knows that you working, but it's almost like they looking from a distance, looking like they want to get there, but they, it's all taking a long road to get to where you need to be. I feel like whatever you want in your life that you're working so hard to get, it's like it's still taking you long to get to where you need to be, but because I feel like it's something here that you don't even want to be with, right? But you walk away from this situation, walk away from this situation for someone to offer you their cup. And this person that's offering you a cup, it's, it's like really loving you. But you got a fire sign here that is very complicated and don't understand what it means that you don't want to be with them, okay? I feel like the Eight of Swords um, you working hard to, to just please get away 
I feel like you um, feel like you tied in a situation that you don't want to be in. And I also feel like you can walk away from it, but it's just like you don't know how to do it, but you mastering it, you determined to do what you want to do, no matter what. With this Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords, this Knight of Wands coming in, but the Five of Swords said, nah, uh-uh, I'm cutting you off no matter what. And I don't give a fuck. You got to go. And then you got the Four of Wands celebration of major event. And I feel like the celebration is you literally making up your mind to let go of something that you don't even want, right? And when this person leaves, you're going to have a Victorian life. And it's going to be everything you ever wanted. You're going to be celebrating with your friends. It's like everybody is waiting for you to let go of something that you don't want in your life. And everybody's going to be happy for you because they know how bad you don't want to be in this situation. All right now. Okay? So then after that, you walking away from something that don't no longer serve you and somebody else is coming into your life, right? This person here is still, um, it's like maybe, you know, you got to get the law involved because this person seems like this Libra person seems like, you know, they're supposed to be balanced shit off, but I see the law here, so maybe you're going to have to put the law in this person that you're walking away because this motherfucker don't understand what it means, I don't want to be with you. They don't get it. Like, these people don't get the part that you're trying to walk away from them. They want to make you be with somebody. It's a situation here that you don't want to be involved with, but it's, like, so hard because they don't understand. Now, once all this is done, it says very soon, clear decision what you want so that it comes to you in the now. Okay? You need to get out of that state of mind and do what you need to do. It says a new love. I said somebody new is coming, right? A new person has stirred your romance feeling, and that's what you're going for. You don't want to go for what it was. You want something that is exciting and makes you happy. And it's like somebody don't want to see you happy. They want to fucking be in your life whether you want them or not. Separation here, right? It's It's got to be a separation for something new to come into your life. It's a time of parties in the horizon. And yes, it is because it looks to me like you got law involved and you might have to get the police involved to remove this person once and for all because I feel like it's two energy. It's the new and the old or it's a separation. It's something new coming into your life, right? But before you get any of this, you must separate from something that is not serving you and you need to walk away from that shit. It's saying right here, you need to walk away and while you're walking away, you get this night coming in, right? But it seems to me like I don't know if it's two men fighting or whatever it is, but it looked to me like with this separation, it's not going to be as easy as you think. And this motherfucker look, look like he ain't got no fucking sense. And people like that don't know what it means to say bye means bye. And do I got to get the court involved? Maybe I must bring the court involved, okay? Um... Uh, I also feel like this person here may be, um, um, this person here may be, it's like, I don't know, I don't understand. Or maybe it's this person that's coming into your life, this new person, and I don't know, all right? Healing from past family issues. Maybe somebody here's got to heal from a, this separation is got to do with family and it's like a separation here going on from your family people that are not serving you you're walking away from people that are not good for you okay and it may be a family it could be anybody but i felt like you worked hard to get out of a situation and maybe now you're not even going to thanksgiving christmas or nothing because you feel like you are caught up in a situation that it's hard for you to walk away from because when it comes to family and shit, sometimes that shit is hard. Okay? Now, but I, I feel like this um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo is there, but for real, you cutting shit off and maybe you cutting off your brothers or sister, whatever it is, but it's something here that needs to be cut, but it's also a celebration that's going to be after you get rid of what you don't want. I also feel like it's um, 
walking away from something no longer serving you, right? You got this cup coming to you, offering you everything. But I feel with all of that, you're going to have to go to court over a situation here that is not serving you, okay? Somebody feel like they need to be with you no matter what. And they're coming to start shitting with you no matter what. It's like they don't want to see you happy. And maybe they don't believe that it's over. Okay? Maybe these people don't want to believe that over means over. O-V-E-R. But they trying everything in their power to keep you there. And it seems like it gets worse and worse by the day. Because who wants to be around somebody they don't even want to be with? To me, it's crazy and insane. But that's how people be. I mean, it's crazy. But um, Pisces, um, I just feel like you need to really know what you want to do. And whether it's a family situation or you being with somebody that you don't want to be with. I don't care who or what it is. Sometimes your families don't want the best for you. And sometimes you're in a relationship where you're trying to get away from. But these motherfuckers don't understand what leave me alone mean. They want to be with you no matter what. And sometimes that can be dangerous because you get a psycho. Um, it could be a lot of people involved that ain't got no business being involved. But they're going to get involved because that's the way it goes down. Okay? Ain't nobody going to be with you and going to allow somebody coming in and act crazy. All right? So um, it is what it is, Pisces. You got you got a, a problem in your hand that you need to solve the problem. Okay? And whatever it is that you feel stuck about, it's happy moments after you let go of something that is not serving you. You got to let that shit go to be happy. Okay? I feel like you're stuck in a situation where you're not really stuck. You can just say, get out or move on or whatever it is. Okay? But something here needs to be, poof, disappear. And it's like the hardest tick in your ass that you can't get rid of. Okay? That motherfucker is sucking your blood. Okay? Or a bat sucking your energy. Or um, dick blocking or pussy blocking. Whatever it is, somebody's blocking something. All right, Pisces, I'll talk to you later. If you need a private reading, get it from me or someone else. But get it, get it while you can. This is a general reading, not a private reading. Do you understand? Take what fits you and leave the, sh the rest behind. If none of it fits you, then don't get it. Move on to something else, okay? I or to another reading. I'll talk to you later. Bye.